Hello my friends, my name is Forge and today we have been given a brand new update and it is 1.13.1 for Minecraft Bedrock Edition on MCPE, Xbox One, Switch, and iOS. And this is going to be a feature update that many people have been wanting for a very long time because when 1.13 initially came out, it was a buggy mess. I mean, we can all agree that there were a lot of messy bugs going on and we're just going to go and take a look at what is going on within this update right now. So to begin with, we have results for crash fixes. So they fixed a the crash that could occur during gameplay. We see that way too many times to be honest. Then they also fixed several crashes that could occur when joining realms. They fixed a the crash that could occur when joining featured servers. Fixed a the crash that could occur when throwing lingering potions. Now the one thing I did not see fixed was basically when you're using bed in nether, when the bed explodes it would crash your game. So we're actually going to go ahead and test that really quickly see if that's been fixed because I did not notice that within the change log and that's just something that I definitely want to see changed because it was really bad but let's see did they fix it they did not fix the bug come on I mean that's just rather disappointing I really thought that they were going to fix that bug so hopefully they'll fix that within the next update but anyways we're just going to go ahead and take a look at the other fixes and here we go so for the only general fix the error message failed this place when attempting on create new realm while there are expired realms on the account. We're just going to go ahead and take a look at the character creator. So Elytra no longer are invisible or blocky when using custom imported skins. As a matter of fact, they made it to where you can now use the founder's cape on imported custom skins. And so this means that if you found a skin online or you made a skin yourself within some kind of software, then guess what? You're going to be able to use that cape on that custom skin which is really, really awesome. So for example, if I were to go ahead and go over to profile and I go ahead and click on edit character, this is my custom skin that I imported within the game. And so you can go ahead and basically just use the founder's cape or any other cape that might be introduced in the future for that custom skin, which is really, really great. I like that quite a bit. But I initially thought that this was like a 1.14 only feature because they did introduce this feature within a beta so at least we know now that it was just a bug in 1.13 that they ended up fixing that. But anyways, we're just going to go ahead and take a look at the other ones, which is what else they've done. Waiting for skin to load will no longer block players from getting into the game. Oh my gosh, that was another bug I did experience. I really am glad they fixed that. Oh, thank you, Mojang. Thank you. Because what would happen is your game would be stuck on loading skin and you couldn't join any worlds. It was just really, really annoying. But also, players no longer share the same custom skin during multiplayer sessions. Never experienced that one, but I have seen it. For the gameplay fixes, they fix the chest sometimes being invisible. Never experienced that. Going through portals will now take you to the correct place in the corresponding dimension. Because what would happen is, it will teleport you to a random location, and I don't know what was going on with that one. Probably the game doing some wrong calculations like that but you know that's been fixed now and they also did a few more tweaking to the bobbing movement so as you can see whenever we're moving we do have ourselves a little bit of bobbing but it's not as much as it was within the previous update for 1.13 and I'm just glad that they did actually tweak this but they also intend to tweak it even further in future updates so expect some very strange things going on with this one finally for the final two bug fixes they changed a few things with the user interface so closed realms no longer display on create new realm screen and also fix incorrect Japanese and Korean characters appearing in the language settings. And there you go. That's pretty much it for what they've done for 1.13.1. And this is a very much needed bug fix update. But I still really want to see them fix the crash in the nether when you're using a bed or even the end. I mean, that would be really, really great. But hopefully that will be the next update. But anyway, I do want to hear your thoughts or what you think of this down below in the comments. I do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then please let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. And for now, I hope you have a logical day and I will catch you next time. Bye.